can a union that represents the interests of teachers run an education system is the question we would like to ask. This cannot produce a functioning meritocratic, meritocratic system. <laughs> to deal with these kinds of fundamental problems, and we have to deal with them in order to, to make real progress, CDE is arguing that we need system-wide reform. And we've got five areas where we think reform is essential and that need to be prioritized. First and foremost, we believe that this problem of state capture in education must be tackled. Corrupt and incompetent officials will always oppose reform designed to prioritize the interests of learners and create a merit-based system. Set to officials, even if well-intentioned, will confront conflicts of interest that will block them from doing the right things for learners. It's inevitable. That's why we believe that government must take a public stand against corruption, send cases to the SAPS to prosecute criminality, protect whistleblowers, um, that officials in the DBE and provinces should not be members of teacher unions, and we need to end cadre deployment. We need to move the system from incompetence to merit, and tackling this issue of state capture is absolutely critical for that. If we don't eradicate it, all other reforms will fail. In addition, we believe that improved performance requires accountability, and we want to see three reforms that have been either proposed a long time ago or have actually been tried by the DBE. These are all good initiatives. We need to do them. This is not, you know, we're not sort of advocating anything radically new here. We want the ANAs back. It's absolutely crucial. All, all international case studies show how important this kind of data is. Every school should know how it's doing, and so should the parents who send their children there. We need to reinvigorate a fully independent NIDU. It must become an independent unit that identifies problems and recommends solutions, and in order to ensure that it's not captured by other interests, it should regularly report to Parliament. And then lastly, we believe that principals should have more power. Principals are crucial for making schools work. There's a lot of evidence to point in that direction. In order for that to happen, they firstly need to have more responsibility. You can't be held accountable for something that you have no control over. So they need to be more responsible for who gets hired and promoted at their schools. At the same time, if they're going to get this responsibility, we need to make sure they're up for the job. To get there, we need to have entrance exams and merit-based appointments for principals. 